Last month, NASA launched the global scale observations of the limb and disk or gold into orbit. The new satellite is set to revolutionize our understanding of Earth's upper atmosphere. What will gold measure and how will scientists use it? Okay, let's science. <laughs> Before we talk about gold, we need to know a little bit about Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is made up of several layers. The lowest layer is the troposphere. It's where we live, where clouds form, and where weather happens. Just above that is the stratosphere, home to the critically important ozone layer. Above that is the mesosphere. This is where meteors burn up, putting on a show for viewers at the surface. Finally, we have the thermosphere. This portion of the atmosphere is where the majority of northern lights occur. A crazy fact about the thermosphere, there are actually people living up there. They are, of course, living in the International Space Station. Still cool. Another sphere called the ionosphere is made up of electrically charged atoms and electrons, and it shares some of the same physical space as the thermosphere. This is the chunk of the atmosphere that gold is going to focus in on and learn more about. The ionosphere is continuously bombarded with cosmic and solar radiation. Every now and then the sun will release an abnormal amount of radiation and energy in the form of a solar flare or a coronal mass ejection. These types of releases can cause GPS blackouts, communication issues, Issues, and even power grid failures. One mission of gold is to help us better prepare for these events. In the lower atmosphere, where the weather happens, we have dozens of models and an entire network of observations set to help predict that weather to help us prepare for it. This level of study does not exist in the upper atmosphere. Gold will solve part of this problem scanning the Earth's ionosphere every half hour. From these scans, scientists will know the temperature and particle composition of the upper atmosphere. These data will be used to validate and improve current modeling of a very important layer of our atmosphere. Scientists and engineers over at the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics built and programmed this beautiful instrument. NASA was nice enough to let me and a few others check it out. Good news, the instrument was successfully launched on January 28th and will be operational later this year. Thanks for listening.